China just tested one of its most ambitious rockets yet, and it ended in failure. But what exactly was this rocket? And why was this test so important? The rocket is called Zhu K3. It was built by a private Chinese space company named Landspace. This rocket was designed to be fully reusable, meaning the main booster is supposed to land upright and fly again. Reusable rockets are the holy grail of modern spaceflight. They dramatically lower launch costs. They allow faster launch schedules. And right now, only a small number of companies in the world have truly mastered that technology. Zhu K3 was Landspace's attempt to join that elite group. The launch itself actually worked. The rocket lifted off successfully. It reached orbit. That part of the mission was confirmed as a success, but the failure came during the return. During the booster's descent back to Earth, an abnormal combustion event occurred. That disruption caused the landing attempt to fail. The booster crashed instead of touching down on the recovery pad. So why does this matter so much? SpaceX built its entire advantage around reusable boosters. By landing and reflying rockets, it cut launch costs dramatically. That is how Falcon 9 changed the global launch market. Zhu K3 was meant to be China's closest private sector answer to that model. Instead, today's test shows how unforgiving reusable rocket systems really are. The technology is extremely complex. Even small combustion irregularities during descent can be catastrophic. What happens now? Landspace says it will analyze the failure and attempt future test flights. But this setback will likely delay China's private reusable rocket timeline. It also raises new questions about reliability, cost, and competition in the global commercial space race. Space technology moves fast, but it is brutally exact. Today, Zhuki 3 did not land, and that failure puts China's private space ambitions one step farther behind the leaders of reusable launch. This was an RFN update.